Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or on the nice widget up above. This is going to be the Tampa Bay Lightning season preview. Of course, for the Lightning, it's all about their big club and being like Tampa Bay. Back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Congratulations on John Cooper for getting the extension because of that. So it's all about having that great, consistent club up above, and they have that again because they brought in Patrick. Or they didn't bring in Patrick. Moore. They brought in Pierre Edward Belmore, who signed to a 35-plus contract, as well as Corey Perry. Both of those guys step up their game in the postseason and really play well, especially Perry at this point of his career. And then Belmore plays a very consistent, good 200-foot game. You obviously still have the Sorellis of the world. You kept Kalorn there, who's a very solid 200-foot player as well. Nikita Kucherov is one of the best players in the league. So is Point, who's just entering his prime year. You got Palat there still. You got Taylor Radish, who's now going to get a chance to play. Unfortunately, you lost Barry Goulet to Seattle, who was the fourth-ranked prospect. Or, or um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 he was your fourth-ranked prospect, uh, but you unfortunately lost him to Seattle. But you're going to be able to hopefully have enough offense, not hopefully, you're going to have enough offensive firepower in Tampa that when they've lost players in the past, they always find a way to make up for it, and you have the Mateo Josephs of the world, and you have the Taylor Radishes aforementioned of the world that are going to step up, and they did it all at the AHL level. Now you just have to do it at the next level and show what you're really going to do and really become, and I think both of those guys are going to be pivotal pieces of this Lightning team in their bottom six going forward because they already have an established top six. The only guy you might knock out of there for one of these young guys that they play really well is maybe a Kalorn, but they already have a pretty established top six. And obviously in the back end, you have a very good defense led by Victor Hedman and Ryan McDonough. Jan Ruder emerged last year as a very good player. You still have Cal Foot, obviously. Um, Eric Cernok, they developed into a great defenseman. Um, Mikhail Sergachev is a great defenseman. And then you got Zach Bogosian, who you turned into an actually top six defenseman, who was more of a six, seven, or extra defenseman throughout his career up until that point, and now has actually looked like a more consistent defenseman. So they have success with the defense there, turning guys into solid defensemen. Obviously, when it comes to the prospect pool in Tampa Bay, your best prospect is someone you ain't really going to need, and Hugo Anafeld, who's a very consistent goaltender over in Sweden and has very quick reflexes, where the other prospect they have, who's a very big mammoth two-way center at Syracuse, uh, or not at Syracuse, playing for Syracuse, um, excuse me, um, in the AHL, is Jack Finley, um, who is going to be a potential um, shutdown role um, center with a nice work ethic, plus they have Roman Schmidt, who is going to be a nice defenseman for them as he develops, and Nick Burbix, who's going to be a nice defenseman from the right side as he develops, and we just talked about how your team, the Tampa Bay Lightning, congratulations for this too, as well as being back-to-back -back champs, is very good at developing defense, and you went off at the back end, and you went off a goalie, and obviously we know Tampa with Andre Vasilevsky don't have to worry about goalie for a long time, and, on, and not Andre Brian Elliott to Andre Vasilevsky is a solid backup while he was here in Philly. He just makes all the saves he has to make. Doesn't do anything overly complicated, but we saw Vazzy plays most of the games anyway and still stands up to being one of the best in the league. So you don't really need a backup of all that cow, but you just need a guy that makes the saves he has to make. And that's exactly what Elliott does, where um, Schmidt is a great big defensive blue liner. He needs to improve his overall speed. He's probably not going to be up until like 20 three twenty four season, twenty four twenty five season, but he's a guy that's gonna become probably a part of that defensive core in the future. And they're gonna develop him nicely when he comes up probably like they just did with Eric Cernock and the same goes for Burbix. He's more of the twenty three twenty four season coming from the right side and actually has more mobility and is getting closer to being ready that plays at St. Cloud State to stay taking the next step as he's gonna come out, obviously age twenty three now, he's gonna come out as an older ager. So he should be a guy that's ready to make a step kind of not really be much in the AHL for that long and maybe make that step to being a third-pairing defenseman fairly quickly after he gets out of college. So I hope you all enjoyed this video as this has been the Tampa Bay Lightning season preview. I believe the Lightning, again, they have them projected as first in the Atlantic. That's a very good projection with them. This one I'm actually going to agree with the hockey news. The Lightning, again, are poised to be a Stanley Cup contender, a very good team. This team has all the right guys for the playoffs. Taylor Radish, I think, is going to emerge, too, as well with Joseph. Anthony Sorelli, I think, is going to have his best season this year. Grading points already a beast, but is still getting better. And you have the good veterans of Palat, of Kalorn, that have been there for a while in your winning culture, in your locker room, that are great to keep around. And you brought in the Perrys, as I mentioned, that just turn on the Jets in the playoffs. So you have all the right things, all the right cream of the crop players here, plus all the great additional ends of the puzzle players here 
that are going to help you to get back to the playoffs and potentially be a Stanley Cup um, contender again, and maybe even one of the teams uh, that that three-peat, which is obviously, I honestly don't remember the last time that happened, or if it's happened, to be quite honest, but that would be a feat to see if the Tampa Bay Lightning are able to three-peat this year. So again, comment and subscribe down below if you enjoy the content, and please subscribe above on the widget if that makes it easier for you. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been a Tampa Bay Lightning season preview. Enjoy the season, Lightning fans. And go Lightning, congratulations again on another Stanley Cup victory last season. And hope you guys have another nice season this season for you all. Peace out, everybody.